Alright folks, roll back for another roll plays and it's C64 month, so how better they kick it off than to look at a brand new C64 release? This is Barsley Badger, developed by Okay. Code by Jorg Grottensteiner, who of course was responsible for a whole bunch of good homebrew games. And the graphics by uh, Trevor Story, Smilia, Myla, I think, sorry. Um, this one, like Tiger Claw from a few weeks ago, was originally released as part of a uh, pledge for the 64 Story and Pixels Kickstarter. Um, but thankfully, unlike Tiger Claw, this one's actually got a separate release through Cytronic. And that only that happened a couple of weeks ago. I was actually lucky to order one of the leftover Kickstarter copies, so I would have pledged it originally had I could afford it, but I couldn't. Tiger Claw went first. So the basic idea is, you're Barnsley, who's a bit of a lazy, lazy type, and he was in his local pub and overheard about the discovery of some coins bearing the mark of Tutan Bodger, a, uh, you know, a myth, uh, supposedly mythically cool uh, chap who lived quite a long time ago and had a lot of golden things carved. He liked his bling. So, with that knowledge, apparently, you know, there's rumours of a giant fabled treasure and he needs to clear some debts, which thankfully I can actually quite sympathise with. And so, he's headed off in pursuit. So, the basic idea is you flick through all the screens. There's 120 of them, which is quite a lot for a single load. And then... Hopefully you can collect all the items and make your way to finding the golden mask, which is sort of the, the big pinnacle treasure. So it's very much in the vein of, of Monty and yeah, other spectrum -y platformers, but you know what? I really like this I really like the fact here that they've made sure to do the work right in terms of the the graphics. Because if you look at like most of those games converted from the spec, they they never really use the full palette of the 64. They never do background graphics and animation. It's usually just a static black background because, you know, they've got to avoid color clash. Ooh, I have a key. Ooh, I've never gone this way before. That bodes well. So, controls are, of course, you stand to the left, right, move, up, jump, down, climb, up, also climbs, down, climbs. And then fire doesn't jump because you actually can get a catapult. I haven't seen it from my own play of this. Um, okay, let's keep going. You gotta really be impressed. 120, 120 odd screens. Let's see. Like, like, there are a lot of lovely touches with this game, in terms of... Uh, hopefully it won't be too long. Hopefully it'll be a long time before I do die, but... Ooh, that was close. Where he sort of zooms out of the screen. I mean, I'm a big fan of the... Just the, the colour usage. Ah, there we go. I love that zoom out of the screen. I don't love this. Um... If I had a legit complaint with this game, it is basically the checkpointing. I'm sure it was done for you know, balance reasons, but when you get used to playing games like Monty, you get used to the fact that you know you die, you restart on the screen you're on. And I think here it's just really tight, especially especially when the um, the checkpoints are spaced so far apart. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But it is frustrating from a gameplay perspective. Anyway, let's keep going up. Alright, this time we'll go down. Oh! I swear I've seen where the green door is, but uh, on, a lot, on a previous play. And now I'm struggling to remember where it is because it'd be handy because I've actually gotten the key for it, which I don't think I've ever done before. So, let's go over this sucker. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna, you know, complain about using the high-res modes. But seriously, I actually really like the way it's done here. Ouch! Damnation. And the reason I really the reason I do is because it's really about the colouring. 
like it's not just about using a small subset of the C64's color palette, but it's also about um, the fact that there's these background graphics that you can see on screen, there's... There's enough in there to make it a little more unique than what, than what you'd expect. So my book, that's a good thing. Okay, through. All right. Now it kind of back where we started, which is good. Let's go this way again, see if we can get any further now. Alright, back into this deepest part of the undercroft. Ooh! That was close. Alright, let's see what happens here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Where is it? Hey! Nice! That's where the green door is because the room said the green door. Oh! <laughs> and I've got a piece of something. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's one angry fluff there. Ooh, extra life. Ah, oh, why can't it? Why can't it speak? What do I mean? Not. I, I'm too used to like modern type games. Yeah. Extra life. Ah. Okay. Oh! Ouch. That was poorly timed. Thankfully, you've got nice smooth jumping controls. And while I'm not the biggest fan of up being to jump here, it still works pretty darn well. Oh, let's get in. The golden coin slots. Yeah, we go. So I plonked one of my coins there. So obviously you've got to find all the coins. Ah, damn! I thought that was like a conveyor belt. Noob mistake. Right. So you find six coins, place them there, and that gives you, and that's going to open that bottom section up. And I presume that be where the um. The, the mask is that you've got to get to. Come on, let's see if we can do this. Yeah. Another bit of gold. So the, the control in this game for jumping is utterly sublime. It feels so tight and that is so critical because in a game like this, you need that. You can't. You can't have a fixed direction jump. You can't have. You need to be able to. You need to be able to make sure that when you jump, you jump. Okay, we can't go that way. Is there an up path? Oh bugger! We gotta go. We gotta go the other way. Okay, and avoid the angry fluff. Such an angry fluff there. Okay, can we go up in. Oh, we can't. It does bum me out. Sometimes you can't. Uh, you can't jump. No! Into the water. Oh, and it's game over. All up, this is really solid fun. And it, it took me a bit of playing to sort of get to grips with, oh, that's how things are supposed to work. But but now, now I'm just, I've really gotten into this one. So let's I'll have this second game and see if we can get any further. I always find it unique and funny how sometimes when I'm sitting here reviewing, you know, games like I do, that it's when I'm recording an episode that I 
have like my best runs. And yeah, I've never been able to piece why it's. I would have thought that because I'm, you know, talking about the game, that I would be a little distracted. And I would have thought that playing on hardware is always a little off sometimes in terms of just like some of the little things. But yeah, I don't know. But I just had one of my best games ever of this. Um, And I swear, oh, bummer. And I swear some of the other games I've had. Yeah, see, back at the start screen. Again, this is probably, that's my one, like, rage-inducing complaint. The rest of the complaints I have are pretty minor. And, and the thing is, you know, um, I know they're working on having a way to be able to buy it digitally if you don't want to buy the physical copy. Because, you know, indie devs should be supported, whether they're on... Yeah, modern, modern PCs or mobile or whatever else. Um, and I know they're working on a way for that, so... Best thing to do is, is stay tuned on the on the Cytronic site and see what the heck is happening on that front. But, you know, it's... They're standard trio of releases, so... Um, uh, a standard disc, premium plus disc, and tape. And, you know... What is it? It's like six or seven... I think it's seven pounds for the tape, because they've... Um, had to bump up costs, but they're really, I think they look really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing like a couple of the other games in the new batch that have, have releases they've announced, so I'm going to have to try and get some of those covered when I can. Um, there's the green key. Yeah, this is sort of the, the, the stuff I like most with, you know, seeing new games on old systems. It's it's a distinctly modern take on on some classic on some classic game formulas. Let's see. Oh. And I, I I am all for that. <laughs> yeah, not so much infinite death as you're gonna see on some other stuff. Ooh, nice. Now let's try and go right again. Ah! Oh! Course, because those will let you go down. Oh, oh, that was close. I almost missed that one up. In fact, oh, now I did mess that one up. Bing bong. I also got a couple of lives left. Pretty nice. I'm not sure what the um what the credential is to get extra lives, cause I don't know if it's like X collect uh, number collect uh, collect X coins or collect a uh, certain number of points, which probably ties in. I'm not sure if it's a power ups either. Um, I have to go back to the to the manual. <laughs> oh, sometimes I miss out the little details. I'm only human. I'm just someone who gives who gives who gives enough of a damn when when putting a video together. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Go back because I'm gonna miss that one. The music's actually. It's, the music is growing on me. I don't know. If, I, I don't think it clicked at first, but it's actually starting to grow me a bit more now, so. Especially when it, when you've got a good length tune looping over, you know that you need um, something to do that. Okay, bowels and gas works. Let's do this, over. Oh, ah, spooky. Ghosts in the gas works. Oh, there's the catapult. I've been looking for that for a long... Wondering where that is. Come on, what? There's Angry Fluff and there's... Dino Thing and then... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's like the first time I think I've actually gotten the catapult. So that's... 
And now it's just now it's just a case of Barza can just zap all the things. A yellow door, so it means I need a yellow key. And I can't go up there. Oh, can I? It's okay. <laughs> Lava Lake. Well, that that's a bit of a tough combination there. The semi-transparent red block over the blue background. Well, you can't win them all. We don't want to end up at the bottom at Lava Lake, do we? Uh, okay. This is good. We found the, uh, the, the coin slots. <laughs> the golden coin slots. Oh, that could be so... Sorry. I could say something so wrong there. Alright, ancient piles. We can't go to that part. <laughs> oh, of course, I'm just going to zap. It changed a fair bit now that I can just zap everything that I want to take out. So, but of course, I still respawn, so eh. It's not permanent victory. It is not permanent victory. Just more... So that style got me an extra life. No! Oh! <laughs> you get one, you lose one. Okay, so that's Barnsley Badger. It's pretty darn rad. So definitely should check it out if you're interested in collecting physical titles. If not, probably just keep an eye on, on Cytronic's website and hopefully they'll have news about that. As always, thanks again for watching. Um, I do enjoy hearing your thoughts. So if you've had a chance to check it out, I wonder if you've done better than I have. Um, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing as always. Uh, subscriptions, likes, comments and discussions are really sort of what keep you know, the visibility up. Um, you know, I can't be everywhere. <laughs> um, but it's always good just to be able to have that. Like, the stuff I enjoy more about showing these games more than anything is that you have an honest chat, you know, an honest discussion on things, you know, things that work, things that don't. So yeah, so that's your thing, dude. Yeah, let's, let's, let's have a chat about stuff. Um, of course, as always, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all next time.